And just like that, it's been an amazing day in Adobe and Behance Live. Adobe Live on Behance. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome everybody. I am DTM Delta Tango Mike, and today we're having our community stream focused on creating a brand for a brewery and some beer cans. So, oh, oh my gosh, I've been waiting every week to work on this little by little because I want to show you the step by step process. So, just before we jump into what we're doing today, Check out the link in the description of the video. It should take you to this page that I'm going to share. Uh, not that page because that's my Surface. Not that. That's my iPad. I got a lot of things going on here. This is the Vector Maestro's blog. And at the Vector Maestro's website, we have a breakdown of everything that's been going on since two weeks ago when we first started the stream, the series. So it's a community show, brewery, brand design. And you can see the links to the first week's uh, um, um, live streams on Behance and then on uh, on my personal page on Behance and on the Behance live page and a breakdown and everything that we covered. We covered a lot of research, a lot of mock-ups, a lot of uh, mood boards, and it gave you a chance to vote on the design that you think you want to see me work on for the next six weeks. So this is uh, week two. And uh, we have already had the voting. Everything's been decided. All of you voted. The votes were all over the place. And I'm uh, very happy to see a lot of the engagement. So check out the page here at VectorMaestros.com so you can check out the breakdown of some of the artwork that we shared. Now, if you're watching this on, uh, on YouTube, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment in the chat. Let us know where you're watching this. And if you had enough fun for today with uh, Firefly, oh my gosh, that was a lot of cool stuff that I saw today. Okay, so on this page, what we have is uh, two weeks ago, we set up to vote a two different brand ideas. Okay, one was the Ancient Brewery. The other one was the Ghost uh, Prime Brewing or was it Prime Ghost? I think it was Ghost Prime, but I, I started writing it as Prime Ghost. I don't know. I think I like the word Prime first. In any case... Uh, the designs that we had on hand to share at that time. Oh, yeah. Let me close this out. This is supposed to be a surprise. <sighs> All right. There we go. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Ryan? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And, uh, okay, so here's one of the designs. Uh, this got the Pocas Brew. And this was for the Ancient Brewing brand designed. And uh, Heru's Elixir. And then flower goddess, or it says garden. This is garden, garden or goddess. Yes, yeah, it's garden, and uh, flowers, uh, flower gardens. And so that was the designs that I had in mind for this particular brand, Ancient Brewery. And there goes a quick little mood board. It's uh, not perfect, but it was, it was a bunch of things to put in there to take a look at what we got in mind. Then we had the Ghost Prime Brewing, and uh, we had three, also three different designs for their beer, also. And, uh, and the logo was a little bit of, of that um, uh, Aztec art style, but a little bit of cyberpunk in there. In any case, the beer design was Rebel Level, Bolts and Brew, Bolts Brew, yeah, that's it, Bolts Brew, and then the Gears and Grain. And uh, I wanted to put a character here because all of these designs are going to be character focused as I'm a character artist. But uh, but I said, okay, we can go with some some lines. Okay, so what's going on here? Would you like to? No, come on, stop. All right. All right, so then the, here goes the mood board right there, right? So we got the mood board. We have uh, everything uh, that gives us the ideas and, uh, and the style that, and colors that we're looking for. Well, it was put up to a vote, and the winner it was, and so here's me jump in was of course uh, ancient brewery and that's what i've been working on lately and i'll show you uh a uh, process that uh from the sketch to vector today that's what we're going to cover today what is it like to go from a sketch in adobe fresco to adobe illustrator and we're going to explore a couple of different ways we're going to explore it through the ipad through the surface i have my surface right here all right this is my uh surface um uh what do you, which one is this surface book two I have a, I do have a wire connected to it because of the keyboard. And then we also have, um, I'm going to show you the desktop version with this Mac that I'm um, streaming with. So that way, no matter which device you have, no matter what you, the hardware you're using, 
there is a simple process to start your sketches, to start your designs, and then jump into Fresco on vector brushes or Illustrator for the full vector so that you can have a finished design that can go in everything and everywhere. And today, I'm also going to make sure that you have access to these templates. There they are. So the beer can template is now available and you can click on these links, the beer brand template and the beer brand, the beer can template. So there's two things, beer brand, let's just say brewery brand is going to take you to the Behance link where you can download the full set of, um, templates is one major illustrator template that has all the different designs already included where you're going to drop in your artwork and organize it and this is what we're going to be working on week after week plus you can also download just the beer can template itself where it gives you a breakdown of where certain things for the beer can design go boom there it is thank you wade for hanging out with us in the chat and holding it down well, and anyone else is coming through, appreciate you. So there is the link. Thank you for sharing the link, uh, Wade. And uh, so that's that way you can download everything we need. And what we're going to go over today is uh, the fresco to illustrator process and draw some illustrator stuff. Uh, then next, then in two weeks from now, we'll have the next step after that. But if you want to check a look at, take a look at the rest of the page, it gives you a breakdown of some of the prior work that I've done for a beer. Uh, in the brewery and then some of the research that goes into the breweries and the beers and the beer types and what does the names mean and what's the flavors supposed to stand for and then other mood boards that i found online and a bunch of other art designs on cans and this let me tell you like oh my gosh look at this this is amazing this is amazing wow this is crazy so check it out it's all on that link all right so let me go ahead and uh share with you boom and uh and get started okay so what i have done is i started to work on adobe fresco with my ipad right and uh and i have several devices but the ipad is uh, it's a, it's a clear winner when it comes to being able to have the apps that you need with adobe and having that pen oh my gosh that pencil the apple pencil just to go ahead and get in there and draw and i left my uh, glove is over there. I may be able to run off and get it, but it will take me a second. It's right there. It's right there. I'll get it. Anyway, so so let's take a look. So we have one of the designs. There it is. Take a look. Uh, and so here it is, Adobe Fresco. Where uh, let me see. It looks very shiny right there. I don't know why, but it looks clean to me here. And uh, and so this is one of the designs that uh, where that were part that are part of the ancient brewery drink with the gods that's the tagline i already got the tagline <laughs> uh we got a uh ancient brewery logo it's gonna be a spaceship and uh, just cuz you know i'm not saying it was aliens all right there you go if you know you know <laughs> and then there we go we have uh Tezcatlipoca. he's one of my favorite gods he's an aztec god and uh and so this uh beer is called Tezcatlipoca's brew i started messing around with some of the fonts here in adobe fresco it's really easy to just tap on one of the um, oh, right here right here one of the icons over here boom there it is get to some type and start dropping in some text so we have everything that we need so far is the sketch and if you wanted to let's say you wanted to start your vector journey with uh fresco then the only thing you need to do is start a new layer go on the top left the third icon down is the vector brushes go ahead and select the vector brush you want to work with i got a list of favorites here mapping pen is good let's go with that and then finally look just start drawing uh-huh but for this series i kind of want to do a little bit different right usually what I do with my uh, vector artwork is I do have some strong outlines. You know, I have, you know, that ear is like way too far forward. You know what? Let's go like that. There it goes. And so uh, since my uh, inspiration when I started drawing was uh, comics. A lot of my artwork has all these lines, right? And that's cool. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. But 
Uh huh. Ah. All right, let's go like this. Uh huh. Yeah, boy, that's all right. And if I don't like something, look. And then I can double tap, boom, and kind of just create uh, the drawing that I want. All right, I'm almost here. Right, there we go. And so, so, but what I want to do this time around is not use the, um, the vector brushes in Fresco. What I want to do is use the vector in Illustrator. And we have two options with Illustrator. One is Illustrator on the iPad, and the other is Illustrator on desktop. Ah, we got three. Illustrator on the web. Oh, I don't know if you checked out. Illustrator on the web is amazing. It's super cool. It's super easy to use, and uh, I really, really, really enjoy it. All right, so uh, let's get into it and see how this process goes, right? All right, so we have uh, three beer design so we got uh hey hey Rose elixir flower garden which i've kind of changed the name i think i changed the name to uh sochi there we go i knew i had the pronunciation i'm sorry some of these names are not what which is the original language of the Aztecs, <laughs> and sometimes i forget sochi Sochitl, Sochitl. Okay, so Sochi or Sochitl, because uh, sometimes some people say you don't pronounce the T L, and some people say you do, but it's about how you the, the pronunciation. You know, kind of like we when we roll our R's, we have a way. And uh, I was born in L A, but my parents are from Mexico, so so she, so rrr, we get the R's really easy. In any case, somebody knows how to pronounce this better than I. Sochitl or Sochi. Is uh, is Sochi Quetzal is the name of the goddess, and there she is right here, and she is in a field of flowers, right? This is her garden. So it, I wanted the word flowers, and Sochitl it means flowers also. So Sochi Quetzal is the goddess, and her name, part of her name is flowers. The other part is Quetzal, which is feathers. So flowers and feathers, and that's why we have all this right here. We got, uh, let me see, is this, uh, this is, and let's go ahead and merge that down. Boom, boom, boom. So there should be like some, some flowers here. Like that. And it's going to be more uh, designs than, but than, than I have here in the sketch. So bam, there we go. All right, now, uh, so this is, uh, the design is ready, and we can jump in, throw it into Illustrator when we're ready. We also have uh, Hey Roo's Elixir. All right, so there's the sketch. I worked on the sketch uh, yesterday. Yes, I do my live streams at 10 a.m. on Mondays, and boom, I go ahead and uh, work on some of the artwork that I'm going to have ready for the Adobe live stream. That way, you can catch up with me and ask me questions, uh, and we can take our time because I have all the time in the world versus where Adobe live streams. All right, but that's cool. That's cool. Here we go. We got that. That's a uh, Hey Roos Elixir. And then the one I was just showing you a second ago, and that is uh, Descatlipoca. So it's another one of my gods. And uh, this one is my Aztec god. And, uh, and so uh, I was going to say another one of the Aztec gods. And so Sochi Quetzal and, of course, Descatlipoca. And so they, they like to drink. They have their alcohol, and they're ready to go. All right, so that's the, what we have. So here's the steps that we want to pay attention to when we... Go ahead and uh, jump from Adobe Fresco into Adobe Illustrator. All right, so there on the top right corner, there is an icon, and it's the share button, right? So under that share button, you'll see a menu popping up, and you'll see open a copy. Now, before I even get into that, I like to click on publish and export, and I click on export, and I always save a copy of the work in progress. That's also awesome, right? Because you'll notice in my Behance, project for this beer brand design and on the blog on the website i have a lot of screenshots a lot of work in progress so that you can see the step-by-step -step process for this artwork okay back to what we were supposed to be doing all right so publish and export open up a copy and here because i'm working on the ipad this on ipad only i'm going to click on where it says illustrator ipad and like i said if you have an ipad great make sure you have fresco and adobe illustrator boom there it is just like that oh my gosh like it, it took no time i used to I, I got used to talking 
over that time period that it took to to pop in between fresco and illustrator and now it's just jumping in and there it is look everything as i designed it is still there and let's look at our layers come on if i can tap the actual layers there we go we got our layers there's the eyeball so that's all the elements that i've put around the design uh we have the new vector all right so these are vectors and so let me show you let me show you let me lock all these other things okay so as to not bother them look at that that's vector <laughs> i don't know about you i started my career just drawing right pencil drawing ink drawing markers and when i got into digital drawing i love vector because i realized that you can blow up the artwork to whatever size you want and uh and put it anywhere you want including shirts and uh banners art installations whatever my art has been everywhere and so when i discovered that you can uh that only that happens only with vector not with pixel i'm like well i need to draw be able to draw on vector and so fresco allows me to do that but not only fresco now illustrator has that because we have some brushes right here look at this we have some brushes right here on the side now i really gotta put on my glasses so we can see there we go boom and so we have a uh, blob brush look at this and different blob brush art styles let me see what I can do about that brush settings here. Taper ends. Yes. Make it really, really, really uh, high. And uh, pencil the, the brush size down. And let's take a look. There it is. And this is also a vector. So now we can, those of us who like to draw, we can just draw. We don't need to use the pen tool if we don't want to. But the pen tool is still number one. So let's grab the pen tool. And look at this all right i got my layer right there so now let's go ahead and start boom laying down you know what i wanted to do i'm gonna i'm gonna take this over here to the jaw and you're like dan i can't see i know you can't see i can't see either so what we can do is switch so we can have the outline and we can see what we're doing mm-hmm there we go. I don't necessarily say that think think that I like this face, but but it's okay. It's all right. And I'm gonna go ahead and color it in, and let's give it a brown brown color. There you go. Uh -huh. Got it, and move it to a different layer. There it is. So now I can see my sketch under the vector work that I'm putting together here in Adobe Illustrator. So we just went from, and let me go ahead and go to the home screen so that it can save to the cloud. We just went from, hey, Ruben, how you doing? Thank you for joining us, my man. Uh, we went from Adobe Fresco. Let's go into Fresco. From Fresco, we like to click on the share button, click on open a copy, select an iPad. And when you do that, Adobe Illustrator, if you have Adobe Illustrator installed on your iPad, and I encourage you to, then it'll open up on Adobe Illustrator on the iPad and you can start working. And my process when I'm working in Illustrator, anytime I'm working in Illustrator, I like to have the sketch. Where's the sketch? There it is. There's the sketch right there. You see that? It's off and on. And I like to work with the vector right under that sketch layer so that I can see the sketch as I'm building up the layers with the vectors. Now, what I'm going to do, which is different than what I was doing with uh, Fresco a second ago, is that I'm gonna try to minimize the amount of lines. That's not easy for me uh, because I come from a time where I was uh, started drawing with co comic books and comic book characters, and there's a lot of line work in comic books. And so, you know, you kind of get used to it and it's like, yeah, well, that's my style and that's how I do. But what I want to do is try something different and and, uh, and just see how far I can take it. So there he goes. Look, just so easy. Oh, my gosh. Can you believe how easy it is? Now, it does take a minute to figure out how to use uh, the pen tool. But once you figure it out, that's it. It's in the house. You're in the house. Okay. All right. So this is how it worked with uh, Tex, uh, Tezcatlipoca's brew, right? So let me show you. One of the one of the things that advantages that when you go from Fresco to Illustrator, and uh, and you that 
there's uh, it involves the create a cloud, right? The advantage that you when you do this jump, it happens because the create a cloud is there to keep track of your files. So we're gonna go ahead and pop in my boom desktop back again. Okay, of course, and remember that's the page. And then let's go ahead and grab this Adobe Illustrator. And look at this. It's right there. This is the file that I just brought from Fresco into Illustrator. And let me go ahead and click on it. Just click on it. Oh, uh, and this is, of course, my uh, Mac. I'm on my Mac computer. Uh-huh. Let me go ahead and make that little window smaller. There you go. Something is not right with this, but it's okay. Uh, I live with it. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. There we go. Let's go. Let's fix it. Yeah, because I got bigger screen that we can fit here and look all the layers are still there now sometimes I do not name my layers when I am in a fresco and so when we get into Illustrator you, you see this is layer group pixel layer layer group etc etc and that's okay you know because we can always organize that when we're in Illustrator and so there we go uh, this is the face there goes the neck, and I just did that. You just saw me do that on the iPad, and it's right here on my computer now. So I can hop between different devices if I want to. And listen, I said different devices, okay? I'm gonna move my iPad. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my Surface. This is my Surface uh, book. Uh, uh, set it right here in front of me now. I do have a keyboard for it right here just because I like keyboard shortcuts. You get used to the keyboard shortcuts. They're really cool, especially when you're on desktop. When you're on iPad, you know, you focus on quick things that you can do right then and there. But when you're on the desktop, you want the full power of Adobe Illustrator. So let me go ahead and close this and switch over. Where is the surface? Come on, surface. There we go. Oh, my gosh. This is the surface. This is my surface right here. And let me uh, turn up the light. Uh, I'm running low on juice. Mm. Uh, uh, okay, where's my wire? Here's my wire. I got it. I got it. I got it. And uh, I don't need I don't need the uh, surface this for a long time, but uh, just long enough for for what we're doing. <laughs> okay, there we go. And look, uh, let's go ahead. This is Fresco. Close Fresco. Don't need Fresco. And uh, oh yes, I was I was checking this out. Okay, so here we go. Adobe Illustrator. Oh, it's right here on the bottom. Open it up. Let's go. And uh, and you'll see that as soon as Illustrator is done opening, I'll be able to find the same file that I just exported from Adobe Fresco into Illustrator right there on uh, on this uh, on this uh, different device because it's tied to the same account of the Creative Cloud, my Creative Cloud, mine, the Adobe Creative Cloud, but it's my cloud. So here it goes. There it comes. Boom. Oh, yeah. Come on, Illustrator. Show me. Show me something. And, and, and we're on low on power, so we're not going to stick around too long. But there it is. I saw it. There it is. It's right there. Tesca's Brew. Yeah. Tesca's Brew. So it's downloading. It's doing something. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Let me see. And there it goes. Oh. <laughs> come on. Tell me that. This is not exciting. Somebody say, Dan, that's not exciting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. And and uh, big ups to everybody joining us on the uh, Behance. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. SLP Price, Tori Apurva. Thank you, Wade, in the house. And uh, I'm not saying it was aliens. That's right. Decisions, decisions. Jack in the house. And you drink great ales in a beer garden. Oh, that's right. Beer garden. Thank you. Beer garden. And then and, uh, uh, I have lots of ideas for different beer brands. Thank you, SLP Price, for that. Um, okay. So there it is, right? We just saw how through the power of the Creative Cloud, you can go back and forth in different devices. In my example here, I'm on the Surface, I'm on the iPad, and I'm on the Mac. Okay, so we're going to move this Surface out of the way because the power is low. But I just wanted to show you this. Like, this is crazy. Like, I can just sit here and do all these things. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look, I can turn things off and on. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's close it. There we go. All right. So let's move this and let it charge and bring my iPad back. Somebody put my iPad back. That's why I need uh, uh, interns in here. All right. So there we go. It's the Surface. It's back on the side, back. I uh, got my iPad right here next to me because we got more work to put together here. And so what I'm going to do 
is work on the iPad with, here it is, uh, that's my computer, and then there goes my iPad with uh, Adobe Illustrator, because I'm going to show you, like, what are some, how far do I go when it comes to uh, Adobe Illustrator on the iPad? It's not as robust as the desktop, and I'm okay with it. Me, myself, I'm okay with that. I wish there were some other things in there, but I like the fact that it has my tools, the ones that I use all the time for me to be able to produce something and I don't have to be tied down to the to the desk. All right. So here goes, goes my uh, Apple Pencil. I do have a nice little silicone uh, cover on it. OK, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and look and you can always name your layers. So let's take a look at what we have here. This is um, this is let me see those text. That's a beer design. That's the beer design beer design i call it call it graphic design i'll just call it beer design this right here is uh tesca tesca oh come on now you know i typed it right so just do what i tell you tesca sketch name your layers especially because somebody's watching you're watching but sometimes it's best to name your layers so that in some in case you send it somebody uh, <laughs> you will, they will know what to look, what they're looking at when they look at the layers. All right. That's, that's, a, that's the deal. All right. So we got this guy and then here is, uh, the, the text. So this is, and you can always go to the right like that. Boom. Uh, this is a beer name. There you go. And now we have the face, the neck. Uh, this is the template, so that's named properly. So this is what you get to download in the AI file format when you click through the link to the um, Vector Maestro's blog website, all right? Yes, everybody's having a good time on the chat. I'm glad. I'm glad you feel the, the, uh, <laughs> the energy of, uh, of a good drink and, and designing for a good drink. There you go. All right, so let me see that we are. Uh, and then right here, back here, we don't even need this. It just shows up because uh, that's how uh, Fresco works with their files. And, you know, let's just get rid of it. Can I get rid of it? Let's go like that and delete it. It's gone. So now I'm just cleaning up my files here. It uh, has an unresolved. Saving your changes as a new cloud document. Really? Something happened? Let me see. It's okay. It's all right. Well, now we have two. Look at that. We have two. Okay, okay. I'm cool with that. All right, you know, because I, I was jumping, I was device hopping, and then, and maybe I didn't take my time, and uh, and the internet did not catch up. So let's go ahead and close all this, and and try it again. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Now I have discovered that I can't go too fast, and uh, but that happens in any device that I work with, is that if I go too fast and I'm used to working fast, that uh, things uh, things may break. Okay, so here we're gonna call this rename. And we're going to call that uh, version or vector. Just call it vector. Oh, not with the B, with the V. Vector. There you go. All right. We got it. And, and it's showing up here on my desktop. I can see it. I can see it. Okay, cool. And uh, let me see. Yep, it just refreshed. Texas brew vector. Got it. All right. So let's go ahead and open it up. Boom. And usually I use uh, numbers like I'll have version one, version two and so, so on. That way it's real easy to keep track of which one I'm in right now. And, uh, and so the normal name one is just means that that's the, the file that came from Fresco. So now we're going to start with the vector uh, part of the name. And then after that, it's going to be vector one, two, three, four, five, whatever. All right. So here we go. Look, let's take a look. Do we, are we still good here? Yes, we are. Beer design, Tesca sketch, okay, vector, vector. So we got two layers here. So the brown is in the face, the red is in the neck. We're gonna lock the face and keep working with the neck. And so you notice that it wasn't really, I wasn't taking my time to make a good neck here, nothing. Nah, I don't have to. Let's just kind of throw it in there like that. Boom, got it. Now I can select a different part of the body. And I'm gonna take my time and just grabbing different pieces. All right, here we go. I have some ideas of what I'm going to do with um with uh, like the like some tattoos and some kind of uh, body ornament and uh, but first you start with the foundation 
And you're going to notice as I'm going to show you that sometimes you split things up into different layers uh, like I'm about to right now. So what I'm going to do, create a new layer and I'm going to put the neck, uh, no, the arm in a different layer like this. Come on. There we go. Uh huh. Come on. Boom. There it is. And then uh, so the neck is going to have a darker red little tiny darker red because that's going to always be an under color the under with a shadow or something right and so what's going to happen here let's lock the the high red and we're the darker red and now i'm going to go here and then and see that color goes under the the lighter red and so now it looks like of course the shoulder is out in front of the torso Hmm, I like that. That's all right. Same thing is going to happen over here. And I've seen people use the pencil. And I, I, I didn't start learning this way. But it's not a bad idea. I like it. Okay, let's turn this one on. Let's try that. All right, let's see. Where we at? <laughs> I do like it. I do like it. Okay, okay, okay. I don't like that there's extra uh anchor points. But that was go cool. that was alright. That was alright. So look at that. Boom. There goes the arm. So that's kind of cool. I kinda like uh uh I don't can't say I like it. I like it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I shouldn't have any don't don't start to asking don't start don't start questioning yourself. Right now, let's just get the 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 layers that we need. Okay, so we're back on the bright side of the bright yellow red. And so as you can see, I don't have to follow a formula of um of um uh, how tight do I get to next to something, right? This is overlapping where the wrist stuff is gonna go. It's all right. That's cool. All right, let's go here. And so pen tool, click, drag, click, drag, click, click, drag. Click, click, and let's see. Click, drag, click, drag, click, drag, and there you go. Click, drag. So when I say click, drag, it's like click and drag or tap and drag. There you go. Tap and drag, tap and drag, tap and drag, then let go. Tap and drag, let go. This is how you do it. vectors, man. Oh, man. I enjoy it. You know, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just seeing how you can draw something so easily with a digital tool is uh but it does take some time to get used to it L tink <laughs> <Ding. laughs> that's right he's having a, a, a good time he's ha out here now what I, what you can't see in i'm trying to get through this pose is um that creation of adam you know so guys like sideways wait, wait should i go like that he's sideways and stuff and uh <clears throat> and so that's the ask that God he's doing that. So here's how I do certain things, right? So let's go ahead and new layer. And sometimes you just got to click on save now. You got to got to save now. All right. So now let's get the pen tool again. I can change my colors. Boom. Do I keep track of my colors? No, no. Should I probably? Well, I'm nah. Unless there's a very specific stuff that I have to follow. And sometimes I do have to I have to follow those rules. Let's go like that and then bring it down and look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Oh my gosh. Let's zoom in. Let's go. Boom. Uh-huh. Double tap so you can get the curve. And there he is. Yes. Yes. This is good. This is good. Okay. Maybe bring this out some more like that. Uh-huh. Boom. I feel like it should be much, much bigger. Let's, uh oh, don't move it. All right, let's see. And just move it around right there. You go. Yeah. Yeah, it goes out there, yes. And and this is what got me into Illustrator is the fact that it's okay, I do remember why I like it is because you can with 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 uh, markers and with pen 
you can sit there and draw <clears throat> on the piece of paper. And, it, and, it, and if you get, mess it up, then you have to start over, right? With pencils, you can erase, right? You go ahead and erase and start over. And so, but with vectors, you can pick up, you don't like the line, you don't like where it's at, we'll pick it up and move it. It doesn't have to live there. You can pick it up and move it. Yes, that that is a big deal for me. Love it. All right, so let's go like this. There you go. Mm -hmm. And this is all right. If I see things like this where I need to fix, what I do is I try to make sure that I can overlap. Mm -hmm. There we go. So now let's go into the red neck, lock this, go into the darker red layer. And there it is. There it goes. Boom. We got it. We got it. All right. Lock that again. Uh, let me see. Where am I? I'm going to take a look. Let's do the legs. So the legs are going to be the dark red. We're back on the dark red. And uh, let's close that up. You can rotate. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. All right. Come on. Let me see. I need the pen tool. There goes the leg. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Now, sometimes you're going to have to break up some of these um, pieces of the body into different layers. But for now, I'm just drawing it until I get to a point where like, yeah, I should probably break it up. Let me see. Let me let me use the pencil this time. Let me uh, go ahead and select this layer. This uh, anchor point, get rid of it. And now let's use the pencil. Oh, I have to select the pencil first. Boom. Got it. Select that. Let me see. It's, too, it's, a, it's a lot of anchor points here. And if, um, what's that artist, uh, Vaughn saw this, he, he would not be happy. He's not happy about random anchor points in places. Von Glitchka. That's who. All right. There we go. So we got the legs and probably these two legs need to be on the other layer. Just because I want to stay organized. Okay. All right. So grab that. Uh-huh. Bring it up. There we go. Got that one. Where's the other one? Where's this one? Grab that and bring it up. And I can select those two. Get my color. There goes the color picker. And pick the color. Oh, come on. I thought I did that. Mm-hmm. I thought I did it. Let me see. Select color picker. There we go. There it is. Got it. Good. Good, good, good. And I am going to start keeping track of my colors. There it is. And where's this? That is that thigh. Should I do that to that thigh? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. That's what I meant to do. Oh, yeah. Not the boat legs. Oh, yeah. It's fine. That's fine. There we go. It's all right. Don't, don't question anything right now. Just do it right now. Just do it. So there goes the lighter color. Let's select the darker red and add it to the swatch. Boom. Got it. Nice. We're done here. Lock, lock, and unlock. Let's get that uh, gold. You're making a lot of noise, surface. I can hear you. There goes uh, the gold and the brown. I'm not 100% satisfied with this brown, but let's make it a little bit redder. Uh, give it some redness. Thank you. Thank you. There it is. And now save it. And that's the skin color. Boom. Oh, no, that's not the rain. That's not the, the surface. That's the rain outside. All right, so we got that. Boom, how much time we got left? Okay, okay. So as you can see, I'm slowly building up the layers to show what it is that um, you will look, you will see the, the how it starts to build up an illustration. I'm going to add a couple more pieces here, and then we'll see what's happening. All right, let's see, let's see. Cool, cool, cool uh boom boom all right just checking the the chat what's up peter welcome to the stream want to thank everybody who's joining us today it's been a full day of firefly oh and this is a moment where you get to draw in adobe illustrator and this is how i do it okay this is how i do it so now let's go ahead and uh anchor point anchor point anchor point anchor point look mm, anchor point yes and if I want to, I can move things certain ways. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pen, uh, pen tool again. 
and I can do uh, let's go like this and like that and uh, like this and like that and uh, there you go all right so nice and neat thank you I don't know if I like that arm as much it's, uh, it's right here oops so uh -oh. don't do that there we go get rid of it and select there we go yeah there it is and bring that in. There we go. Okay. A little straighter. Yeah. Uh-huh. Boom. So he's got the gold. Let's add some gold right here. And I can use the pencil. All right. Yeah, that's not that wasn't a good ending there, but uh we're gonna we're gonna work it out. See look, double tap. All right. I like how you can double tap and turn uh anchor point into a corner or turn it into a curve. It's uh it's amazing. It's amazing what you can do here. All right, so there we go. We got our guy and then you can turn off the sketch so you can look. See that? Oh my gosh. This is all right. This is all right. We're we're nowhere near nothing right now, but it's still cool to get happy. It's all right to be happy about what you're building. <laughs> I get happy. All right, here we go. And uh, now, one thing that's going to happen is it's real easy to understand how vector works. The hard part is figuring out, well, where should the vector, uh, where should the uh, anchor points go, right? That's the hard part. Like, can you figure out, let's go this. This should be kind of narrow. This should be kind of wide. And there it is. And uh, it's like, where would the anchor points go if you want to do this, if you want to do that? You're going to get it wrong, okay? You're going to get it wrong, and that's okay. Because the more you try it the better you get at it the more you understand what's going on with it and uh and then as time goes on you know exactly where to drop the anchor point it's nothing it's nothing all right so here uh, i was messing up this uh leg and the knee uh yesterday and i didn't have time to play around with it so we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend that it looks okay all right we're gonna pretend pretend yes we're gonna pretend Hmm. And uh, probably if we can go like this, there you go. That's all right. That's okay. Here you go. Boom. It goes the the shoes, right? The shoes also. Uh huh. All right. Nice. Nice. Got the sandals or shoes. I don't know what do you call them. And then we'll do this sandals up. Yep. That's right. Do them up and then go like this. And then this other shoe goes like that. Oh, boom. Let me see. Let me get this one. There you go. So I can move it a little bit. Probably twist it and fix it. Fix this corner. Fix that corner. Uh-huh. Oh, because that's the ankle also. Don't forget there's an ankle. And I need to do the feet. Okay, 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 okay. Where are we? We're right here. Lock it. Unlock it. And uh, let me see how we're doing. Oh, man. The time is going so fast. How is that possible? Okay. This one. This layer. Okay. All right. So, and, and basically what I want to show you is just my process. All right. Because it's going to take a long time to just knock out this artwork here. And so let's go ahead and uh, pen tool. And, oh, interesting. It's thick. It still has my, uh, my, my yellow gold there you go but let's go ahead and uh tap it boom there it is <laughs> i like that i like that all right and finally uh let's see the other foot oh it's in the wrong place why is that why is that what did i do oh yeah 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 because i selected the wrong color it needs to be the lighter is that the lighter color yes and well, that's the face over there okay good good all right next foot and i probably don't need to do like all the toes because sometimes you kind of do you want to there bam got it all right let's take a look i'm struggling with drawing hands and feet since three months they are difficult to get they are <laughs> And thank you, Peter, for that. Yes, practice, practice, practice. Are these perfect? I don't know. Am I trying to be perfect? I kind of wish it was. <sighs> but, you know, I'm not going to let that stop me. Not going to let that stop me. There it goes. That's it. 
That's it. Now, the cool thing about uh, working with layers and an illustrator is that there's always little tricks that you can use to uh, make things uh, appear a certain way. So this leg, let me see, this leg, this leg is okay. Yeah, that's a leg. I kind of, I kind of want that leg. Oh yeah, yeah, that leg should be this other color, like that, because that's in this layer. Oh, that's in the wrong layer. And that's why it's weird. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys some tricks, right? Let me show you what I did, because uh, we're running behind. So let's save it. It's saving to the cloud. Let's go ahead and uh, grab uh, the desktop. There it goes. Boom, bam, right? And uh, you notice how, uh, there it is. It just appeared. Okay, okay. As I was talking, it popped in. Uh, oh my gosh, let's, let's click on it. Ooh, 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 ooh. And, uh, one cool thing is that when you have a desktop, you can uh, you can uh, use one of these tablets, right? I have this Wacom, one by Wacom. It's really cool. It was a little cheapy uh, tablet. It comes with a pen, and wherever I set the pen down, you see it moves things on the screen. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I still didn't name anything, any layers, and that's okay. There goes my layers. All right. And so let me put that down because I can't be holding it. Can't hold it. All right. Minus. There he goes. All right. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That's all right. That is all right. Nice, nice, nice. See, now when we're in Illustrator on the desktop, we have a ton of extra tools right here. And I have enough time to show you a quick trick, right? So let's lock those two layers. This is our gold, right? So Alt, click, drag. All right, lock it. And now that we have this new layer, I'm gonna change that color. Uh, where are my color, my color, my colors? And I probably can't see it. I know it's around here somewhere. Window, no worries, colors, there it is. And then uh, let's see, oh, RGB. I guess it was right there, huh? Grab it. So now I can make it orange. I can make it a little orangey, orange, there you go. And look, there's a eraser here. Let's double tap the eraser. Let's say I want my eraser to be uh, two. Oops, no, I wanted it to be two, not cancel. I said two, one, two. Okay. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right. Let's go here like that, and get that eraser. And now, oh, let's get rid of this uh, hide. And now I can sit here and erase some of that darker orange. And look, you can see that other yellow right there. <laughs> You see that I can sit here. What? And I just used the pen on this tablet. All right. And so the more you practice on it, the better you're going to get at it. And eventually your, your, your work is going to start slowly evolve more and more. And, uh, what is it? What's, uh, What's up? Wade says, perfection is the enemy of progress. I think that's the saying. It is the saying. And yeah, sometimes you just got to do it, man. You got to do it. Yeah, just saying. DTN's doing it really easy. <laughs> and that's because uh, cause I'm able to, uh, I've, I've done it over and over and over again. So here we go. Come on. Hey, Ru. What happened? Oh, maybe because I need to use the mouse. There we go. I have my, my uh, trackpad here. Okay, boom. And look. And this is what I've been working on recently to finish one of the other uh, beer designs. Let me go ahead and uh, here's the sketch. You can see the sketch over. You can see now the under painting or the vectors. And let's go ahead and zoom in. And what I've done with these uh, sandals is I'm going to show you the same thing. Here it says feet right here, right? Okay. And look, take turn that off, turn that off. I started with the gold or the yellow, whatever color you want to call it. I made a duplicate, I turned it blue, and then I used the eraser to erase some parts of it. That's it, that's all I did. Then I duplicated again, and then I erased some more. And this is a technique that I started to use with uh, Adobe Fresco because I don't like masking. I don't wanna do masking, I refuse, and I'm gonna find ways around it. And so my way is to always start with the solid foundation, pick a color, and then start building it from there by by duplicating layers and slowly taking away what you don't want so that the other color will show. And that's what we have here. That's it. And so the same is going to happen. So let me 
lock that again. And as you can see, I started naming things too. Head, chest, I don't know what layer 40 is. I'll figure that out. Uh, that's still a, a blue layer. Let me see. Uh, that's going to be the shoulders. Yep, it's still the shoulders. That's the shoulders. So we haven't played with the shoulders yet. But here are the armbands. See, that's an armband. It's the same technique. Same technique. Let me uh, zoom in on this armband so you can see. All right. So take away that blue, take away that red, and all we have is the yellow. Yellow. Then the, out of the, that yellow, I duplicated and turned it red, and then I used the eraser to erase some parts of it. Then I duplicated that red and took away some it, some more of it, by, and, and uh, turned it blue. So now you can see that red, the yellow, and the blue. It's Hey Ru. That's right, Peter. That's right. That is Hey Ru. Hey Ru the Hawk. Uh, so that's one armband. Uh, the waist, I'm working on the waist now. There's the waist. Uh, but under the waist, you can see the torso design. See that torso design? Same technique. Same technique. It's just using the eraser and erase some parts out of it. Uh, of course, sometimes not everything is perfect. So I'm going to have to go in and, and adjust that. No big deal. That's something that I can do. Uh, but I don't want to waste a lot of time trying to uh, use... Uh, uh, the masking clever says secrets. That's right. Shh, it's a secret, but you can use it. And I want you to tell me when you try out these secrets. Now, I'm not happy about the chest piece. <sighs> I was playing around and it's like, yeah, but no, that's not it. That's not at all. That's not it at all. But it's still the same uh, technique. Here's the chest. And again, color, 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 color. And there's the gold. We have um, the orange, purple, and light blue. So I still have to work on that one. I'm not too happy, but here's the headdress. Here it goes. And uh, this is a whole lot of stuff going on here. What is this? Let's see, we have, oh, oh, so that got, oh yeah, so that's um, part of the headdress on one side. Let's see what's that, that's the top. That's a headdress again with a minus, and then that's a headdress again with a different minus. Uh-huh. Then we have the face, the head. Okay, we we'll call it the head, sure. And then we have the face. The some I don't know what that is, but I thought it looked cool. I found it in some of the artwork that I found online. And then finally, the base for the headdress, the the shiny or a darker, you know, value for the for the headdress, and then the the stripes. And it's all using the eraser on the desktop. So check me out. Come on through on Monday of uh, in two weeks from now and the day before the actual Adobe Live. And I'll show you some of these techniques. If you have any questions about it, check out the link for the resources on this project. It's at Brewery Brand, the VectorMaestros.com forward slash blog <gasps> forward slash Brewery Brand. And you can see all the information related to this project. And I'm going to and download the templates. Get your own template. Go ahead and try your hand at working in Adobe Illustrator with this. There it goes. Look at this. Uh, it's amazing. I'm going to do the same thing with the armbands, with the knee pads, with everything. And then finally, let's see if I have enough time to just throw throw some pyramids on here. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, thank you, Wade, for sharing the link. I appreciate that. There goes the pen tool. And look, I'm just using my trackpad or I can use the pen and tap 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 oh yeah uh-huh yes and i can change the color a little bit uh-huh make it a little brown oh yes thank you and and oh let's see zoom in a little bit there we go let's go right there uh this uh new layer i want it a little darker like that pen tool again tap tap and tap you're gonna be like and you're gonna say dan th that stuff is not matching it's not right it's not where are the pyramids let me see not that one. Oh yeah right here no uh-huh there it is and i'll be like okay cool let's fix it let's fix it how much time i got i got two minutes all right so select my anchor points go through here and just uh-huh boom connect them grab these connect it that's right thank you and uh just to really get really 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 get funky as a matter of fact let's put this in here and now I'm going to make one more thing. Good night, y'all. Thank you, Apurva, for being here, hanging out. Let me go here, here, here. Boom. And bam. Oh, yeah. 
and that's gonna be super bright oh that's cool oh that's a good color right there well thank you everybody for hanging out with me i appreciate you i'm trying to say goodbye but i'm not ready i'm not ready all right so let's go ahead and zoom out let's see this i have one pyramid here alt click and drag let me turn on the pyramids again so i can see my sizes go there lock it and grab this one uh-huh and bring it up bring up the size there we go oh yeah i'll figure out the the ground and all that in a little while put that down below and uh, sometimes i need to have the touch there we go alt click and drag one more right there lock this one and this one's gonna go like this uh-huh yeah and i'll probably make that little triangle bigger yeah and all i did was uh design it once and then use it over and over again uh-huh that's right and you gotta lock your layer so that it's easy to move things around all right here we go go there and it does look off so we're gonna fix this there you go right there uh-huh and so like these colors I have to adjust that color, make it a 10, a little bit lighter. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, oh, my gosh. All right, thank you, Wade. Thank you, Clever. Uh, thank you, Apurva, Peter. Uh, thank you all for being here. I appreciate you hanging out with me after a long day with Adobe Live, sharing some amazing Firefly and, um, and uh, all the amazing artists that were here today. SLP Price, thank you for hanging out. I am DTM, Delta Tango Mike. Find me every week monday tuesday wednesday at 10 a.m and uh leave a like subscribe to adobe live if you're watching this on youtube and uh thank you nathan thank you ruben thank you ryan and everybody enjoy the rest of your day peace out